The Moonies I hate, as you well know. Here is a man, though, who is not a Muni. He's Gopal Krishna Goswami. And he is the head of the Hare Krishnas in Canada and in India. Now, Gopal, what do I call you? Gopal? Yeah, that's okay. Gopal Krishna Swami or Goswami. Gopal Krishna Maharaj. Are you an honest-to-goodness guru? Yes, a guru means one who gives spiritual guidance. So that is my business, to give spiritual guidance to society. I see. And you really, all the Krishnas are really cop-outs. You take no part in the practical life of the country. You merely go around dressed in your saffron robes, chanting and selling things. I would like to say that the people like you are cop-outs. In other words, the natural position of the living entity is to serve God. So when one doesn't serve God, he becomes a cop-out. I see. In fact, I think we're looking at things the other way around. I thought that Krishna consciousness came from India. You, are all your followers in Western Canada non-Indians? I would say 99 percent. But every, any time I meet them, now, I would say 99 percent of our congregation around the world, outside India, consists of people from that part of the world. I kind of like you. You're a nice guy. You're only 37. But every time I meet any of your followers, such as the two you have with you this morning, they all seem rather glazed and brainwashed. Is Hare Krishna a method of brainwashing people into abject serfdom and slavery? Actually, I'd like to correct your understanding. We don't brainwash people. In fact, from the very birth, the media and the educational system, the society, the relatives, brainwash the living entity to forget his relationship with God. True. So what we are doing actually is just helping undo that brainwashing by presenting the real truth to the individual. All right, if I become a Hare Krishna, I must accept Krishna consciousness, I must understand it, I must give up all material things, I must take a vow of poverty, and I must stand around in the streets chanting Hare, Hare, Hare. You don't have to stand on the streets. But you do it all the time. Not all of you us. You block the traffic on the streets. We you don't behave run. abominably no, on no, the streets. No, we don't block the traffic. When was the last time you saw traffic jam due to our chanting? Call to the Hudson Bay. When? When? Did the, did the traffic get blocked? No, no, no. But you can't even walk by the corner without being pestered by people no, in not anymore. saffron robes. Not anymore. In fact, when we are out on saffron roads by Hudson's Bay, we're giving people away free literature. Who is standing in downtown Vancouver and giving out free literature? The Watchtower Who's, and the Kirchner. They don't give it free. They request a donation, but we give our literature free. Now, and we are also distributing cookies free. You give me away cookies free? Sure. D t tell me this. So, do you have some relationship to the Mooney, Sun Young Moon, who has built up a massive multi-billion dollar empire we have selling no things? We have no relationship with him or his philosophy at all. Our what do you think of the Moonies? Uh, our relationship is with the Supreme Lord Krishna. We follow the Vedic scriptures that has its roots in India. Regarding the Moonies, we do not think it's a bona fide... Uh, movement is not based upon authentic scriptures. Uh, religion has to be based upon a bona fide scripture, scriptures defined as the words of God. All right, now how do you get me into the Moody's and tell me how you brainwash me so that I will accept this poverty and this humble existence in a material society? We don't society. want to brainwash you. We would just wish that the brainwashing that you've experienced from your birth is freed. That's all. No. We don't want to brainwash you. We want to present the truth. We don't run commercials of the commercials like you do, trying to brainwash people to buy a product. We are just humbly begging people to understand the real reality. That's another thing. You beg on the streets. You beg at the airports. I've seen you begging and begging and begging. When did you see us last oh. begging on the streets? In the last few years, I must have well, approached the Dutch. Uh, you have the Vancouver Sun article in front of you. But I don't believe what I read in the Vancouver okay, Sun. Okay, fine. You tell me. Okay. Have you stopped begging on the streets? Yes, we have. Finished? Yes, we have. Do you sell pamphlets on the streets? No, we don't. We give away pamphlets now because our sources of deriving income now have improved. We, are, we have a very wide congregation that gives us donations. Many members of our society do professional assignments. And our society is maturing and growing day by day, ah, even in Canada. Interesting point. Donations. If I am employed materially and uh, yeah. Hare Krishna, how much of my income must I give to you? What is the tithe? Uh, there's no minimum. There's no maximum. It 10%. all depends. It all depends on one's realization. But I must tithe what income I have to you. Well, society. I'll tell you one thing. 
The members of our society donate on a voluntary basis. There's no compulsion. How much pocket money do we get? Who? Your people who live in your communes. Ah, uh, they don't get as penny as pocket money. In fact, they have taken a vow of poverty. They've decided to dedicate their whole lives for the propagation of God consciousness, which is the need of the society. How many? You should be using your television to encourage the propagation of God consciousness because this is the biggest problem in society today. But uh, somebody's got to work. Somebody's got to build the hospitals. Fine, somebody's fine, got to make the inventions. Fine, go ahead and somebody's got to supply the services. <coughs> you fine. take all the advantages, but you do nothing practically to help society. In fact, we take all the advantages and we are rendering the biggest gift to society, In giving case. them God consciousness, giving them the process by which they can realize peace, the process by which they can become happy. The problem in society Take, for example, Vancouver or any society. Everything good is on the decline. Everything evil is on the increase. Why? Due to a lack of God consciousness. God or Krishna has to be brought in the center of You're our life. You're not suggesting to me, uh, Gopal, that the state of evil in the society is any worse today than it was a hundred years ago. It is. Take, for example, the government oh. statistics. The which? Statistics. The crime rate has gone up now compared to... E a hundred years ago? Depends who does the statistics. I could do them again and it would go down by a hundred years ago. But tell me this, okay. how many times do heartbroken parents, serious question, do, um, come to heartbroken, yeah. heartbroken, parents. broken heart, heartbroken parents come to you and say, for God's sake, free my youngster from your clutches. You'll be surprised, not too often, and even when they do come and they see how happy the children are, they begin to reconsider